Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Proud Warden Show. And I come to you from deep in the jungles of the plants in my backyard. Anyway, um, I did have a while ago some fan request update on the plants. A few months ago, back in, in spring, early summer, I planted some plants. So, firstly, there is a fail here, a little bit. Okay, usually I don't fail on things and challenges, but I, I had a fail this year, and I'm, and I'm sorry about that, and I kind of upset myself a little bit. But if you look back at my videos, there's a video with me on, in, on the floor planting some Carolina Reaper seeds. I planted six cups, these red cups, of Reaper seeds. Well, this is my last Reaper I have left here. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out not to be a reaper. It was a big stalk of grass which is starting to reproduce and I wanted to kind of see how high I could get it. But anyway, I have some grass here. One of the other six cups sprouted this weed that I ended up getting rid of because the weed was just getting monstrously big and taking over my other plant here which I'll explain in a moment. So out of six cups... Um, if you want to include growth of anything, I got two out of six. If you want to include reaper plants, well, considering this probably isn't going to be a reaper plant anytime soon, um, a big zero. So I've always kind of struggled planting hot peppers. I mean, from seed at least. Um, I planted, um, a few years back before reapers got really big, I tried ghost peppers and I planted some jalapenos and ghost peppers. The ghost peppers never panned out. Um, jalapeno plants I've had okay success with. And then this one, this one here's a nice looking plant though. Look at all those pods growing on there. This one, um, I did okay with this one. I bought this one as a little seedling, a small plant. It was from um, Bonnie Plants, which you can order all kind of good uh, sprouted plants from Bonnie Plants. And this one was a habanero that I found. So this one I grew from like a little a little one here, and it's doing pretty good. I mean, none of the habaneros are quite red yet, but if you look at um, a lot of these pods here, there's a lot on there, and they're looking pretty healthy there. So once they turn orange, I can start getting some of those. So this is a nice looking pepper plant. Um, like I said, I've always struggled planting peppers from 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 seeds but if I get the plant um they turn out pretty good so I'll have to check out bonnie bonnie plants um they also I guess do carry some of the hotter what? ones like ghost and uh reaper too so next year I'll have to look what into that one? so well little I think they are actually kind of turning yeah, they'll be ready, and um, yeah. I'll have to just move it inside if the season gets a little bit cold. But for now, it's been pretty nice out. It just rained. You can see some of the moisture on the leaves yet from that. So this one's doing good. Um, this one's just a fun experiment. See how tall I can get it. Um, obviously not not a Carolina Reaper. Um, so. Um, this one turned out good from a plant. Um, my reaper experiment was a big thumbs down fail it's this year. But it was a fun experiment. Like I said, one of the other cups grew, but it was this big massive weed that was like coming out of my pepper plant and just going all over the place. So that one I, I tossed out so it didn't take over. Um, but that's it. So somewhat of a fail. Uh, this is somewhat of a bonus. Should get some good habaneros off there this year. Um, can do something interesting maybe with that, if maybe. They turn yellow. Yeah, well, eventually. There's some tricks to that, or I can bring it in later too. But we'll get those later on. Anyway, this has been the planting update episode on the Mr. Brad Warren Show, and we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warren Show.